Dominic. I work at Stinger's Tattoo Studio at St Mary's, Sydney. Well, when my brother come home when I was a kid, about 14, I seen his tattoos done mock Dutchy, and uh, I loved it that much. I went and got one myself. One day, Dutchy rang me up, who actually done my first tattoo, and offered me a job. And uh, yeah, I worked for him for six years, and then he was killed in a motorcycle accident. So I moved on then. I, I stayed there for another year, and then I opened up my own studio at Penrith for 11 years. It's the person who's thinking of what they're uh, judging, actually, yeah. Because you can look bad, like a woman can look bad if she's got tattoos on her neck. Doesn't mean she's a bad person. It's just more acceptable through uh, being famous, like uh, it's coming out on shows and things, yeah. And uh, younger people, and it's a trend now, where it's, it's, uh, it's going for another golden era. Because uh, Winston Churchill's mother had tattoos. I like uh, my own designs, uh, evil biomechanicals uh, and Japanese style, because the Japanese style doesn't seem to run out. Hey, it's always, you know, they all think it's uh, it's New Zealand art or it's Japanese, but uh, I think Marco Polo brought it to the Western world. Yeah, tattooing. Some people just want a tattoo just for having a tattoo, yeah. That's why I try and interview them if I, if I think that they don't want one or they're not sure about getting one because you can tell someone will sit down and go, oh, I want this off the wall where we can design something unique and uh, even though it's unique, it's not necessarily more expensive. It's, uh, it's more personal for them as an art form. That's why I like to do freehand. But uh, you can tell if they don't, if it's, they're not meant for it because they'll change their mind three or four times before they're even in the chair. I tattooed a, a, a midget wrestler once as well, and he had stocky little arms. It was real hard to tattoo, but in the end, they looked good on him, eh? But yeah, it was different. But yeah, I've had blind people come in, deaf people, old people. I've had wheelchairs where I can't even get them in the chair hardly, or got to leave them in their own chair. Yeah, I paint, I draw on wood, um, engrave. I do everything, yeah, I love anything, yeah. I even draw in the sand if I'm on a beach, yeah. Of course, anyone can do a tattoo, but can they make a tattoo look good? And we're, all we're doing is pr applying a professional scar, what's going to be there forever. And it's, if it's done, the better it's done, the scar, the scarification, which is a tattoo, it's uh, done professionally. Like, anyone can mark the skin, you know, with ink. It's just, will it look good? My name's Dominic. Come down and see me for your next tattoo.